The Model T, car thefts, and the FBI. You're probably wondering what those three things have in common. Well, it turns out that car thefts had a big impact on the FBI's success and growth. And it all started with the Ford Model T. The night team's Japhne Gray with a little history lesson. Let's go back to August 12th, 1908, when the first mass-produced car arrived, Henry Ford's Model T. It created reliable and affordable transportation for everyday Americans, but it also created a new opportunity for crime. They were very easy to steal. The automobiles that were created in the early 1900s had no locks. The ignitions were very primitive, for, so they were very easy to hotwire. So as car sales increased, so did the number of car thefts. But that wasn't the only crime that was being committed. It enabled criminals to transport stolen goods, to um, kidnap victims, children and women, to commit bank robberies, to uh, traffic drugs. So in 1919, Congress took action. It passed the Dyer Act, AKA the National Motor Vehicle Theft Act. And it was a total game changer because until then, car thefts were the problem of local and state law enforcement agencies. And it was hard to catch criminals once they crossed state lines. The new law made it easier and provided more resources. It made it a federal crime to transport a stolen car across state lines. In essence, you know, the FBI having a nationwide jurisdiction, we were able to address this crime problem in a unique way. In the first two decades of the Dyer Act, the FBI recovered more than 56,000 stolen cars. The law didn't just help catch car thieves, it helped track down notorious gangsters, including John Dillinger and Bonnie and Clyde, and it pushed the FBI to create new crime-solving tools. Innovations were created, such as the VIN. The FBI also created a laboratory in 1932, and that that brought the capability of being able to create a database of tire treads and automobile paint samples. Today, these innovations aren't used just to solve car thefts, but also violent crimes like murder. The evolution of the automobile has really changed our country and very much changed the FBI. Jaffney Gray, KSAT 12 News.